Fool Treepwood, what have you done? Ah! Talking crabs! Why did you open the crossroads? With the barriers shattered, Lechuk is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing, All-Seeing, Voodoo Puppet Mistressy Person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans for La Esponja Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. Well, he didn't fool me. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body. So they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. Yes. The voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use Lechak's weapon against him. You mean the Cutlass of Kaflu? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now. Find your body. Find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember... Rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Mix and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. I always have some with me. Can you give me some of that spirit gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was imprisoned back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember, spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh. I hope this is just a phase she's going through. Jumping between realms thing is gonna take some getting used to. Hey you, pipe down. We're in the middle of a pirate wake here. A what? Oh, yup, that's me. This is a pretty disappointing wake. Yeah, well, LeChuck's killing spree may have hindered the turnout a bit. And why am I posed like that? It's zany. The customers love it. What? That's exactly the way I remember you. body is perfectly positioned for another root beer shower. Great. Hi there. Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe! Don't rub it in. Please stop throwing darts at me. What do you care? You're dead! But I need my body. I'm not done with it. Sorry! <laughs> Just be grateful that I'm not a very good shot. So, ever seen a ghost before? Have I ever? I'm a judge, laddie! My every waking hour is haunted by the harrowing curses of the despicable reprobates I've sent to the gallows. To be frank, your cheery spirit is something of a welcome respite. Yeah, I'm much more of an existential crisis ghost than a mind-numbing horror spirit. All that wailing really does a number on your throat. Give me a drink, grind stump. I am afraid your bar privileges expired when you did, Threepwood. In your next life, try to settle your debts before you get killed, hmm? Hmm. Bet things have been pretty quiet in the old courthouse since I heroically gave my life to cure the pox of LeChuck. It's true! Without that LeChuck and Pox voodoo poison coursing through our veins, flotsam citizens have returned to their usual roguish yet not entirely evil ways. LeChuck and Pox? Great name. Why didn't I think of that? But with LeChuck on the loose, the crime rate is going through the roof! He did things to poor old Crimp Digit that we don't even have names for yet! Oh. Please stop throwing darts at me. 
What do you care? You're dead! But I need my body. I'm not done with it. Sorry! Talk to you later. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. No, no, let me guess. You ignited the gases in the stomach, which resulted in a catastrophic explosion destroying everything within a 25 mile radius? And yet, here I am, without a scratch on me. So, was I right? You're an idiot. Hey, it's Jacques the monkey. Hey, little guy. Huh. I wonder why his eyes are all funky again. What are you doing over here? Standing, mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroads should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life and all these rips will seal up good as new, putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and the chalk is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? A pirate's life. Not for me. For eternity. Threepwood? Captain on deck! Mr. Winslow? Relax, I'm not the captain anymore. I'm dead. Ah, yes. I thought you looked a bit more wispy than usual, sir. And this is hardly the screaming narwhal. What happened? It was that nasty Lechuck fellow, sir. Ooh, you were right about that one. First, he knocked me off the ship. And then, he kidnapped your lovely wife. And then... Yes? Then he... Oh, I can hardly say it, sir. Did he make you kill someone? Force you to turn on your family and loved ones? He took down the map, sir. How does one expect to get anywhere without a map? What's this stuff? Those are the pieces I need to play a game I'm inventing called Rock Paper Fountain Pen. Hello, little monkey. I wouldn't, sir. He's still a bit frustrated that we can't agree on the props we need for our new game. Rock, paper, and I say fountain pen. He disagrees and gets rather... bitey about it. Man overboard! Good heavens, sir! I think that's what's left of Dekava's ship. The Voodoo Lady's Locket! It's stuck up there in that seaweed! But it looks like it survived another harrowing voyage through a giant manatee. Sometimes on my birthday, Elaine wears fishnets. <sighs> this being the real world, I still can't touch anything, so this fishnet has to stay here. Hello? 
swim away. I'll zap you with this eel. Anemone? Kai brush? Are you okay? No. Spinner K has been destroyed. What are you doing in there? What you should be doing. Hiding from him. Oh, man. What did he do to you? Nothing yet, thank Poseidon. Look, I know Winslow can be a bit forward, if not a bit body, but he's got a good heart. No, not sweet Reggie. I mean LeChuck. Oh, I see. He destroyed Spinner K. The sails of his undead pirate ship are filled with the winds of the apocalypse. Oh, that's not good. Look, come out and let's talk about this. No, I'm too frightened. I need your help out here. For what? Well, unfortunately, I'm currently a ghost, so I can't touch anything. A ghost? How? What happened? I'll give you one guess. Killed by him! I'll stay in here, thank you, where it's safe. Can I get you to come out? No, I don't trust anyone. Well, maybe Reggie. Wait, Winslow? That salty dog. Despite our taxonomic differences, Winslow understands me. Huh, I wonder how that works, um, logistically. But now I'll never see him again. I'll be back later. Be careful. The Howler Monkey, forever committed to the salty depths. Up we go. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Perhaps you could drop something down to a stemily? Something to show your um, affection? A capital idea! Perhaps a poem! A haiku, even! I became a master of the haiku while working on the sashimi islands. Whatever, as long as it sinks. Don't you worry. While waiting for the currents to cooperate, I've been working on a game I've entitled Rock, Paper, Pen. How's it played? Well, paper beats rock. And then the player must shame the paper into defeat by filling it full of lewd phrases using the pen. Uh, nothing like a good shaming. Anyway, I have all the materials I need to write my dear anemone a haiku. May my sinking stone lift quivering spirits. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. Are you still in there, and then in the me? As long as LaChuck is still alive, I'll be in here. Thank you. Anemone, Winslow dropped a note down to you. It's sitting right over there. Mi amore. It's a love note. <laughs> I'll be back later. Be careful. Clam, I think we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> foot. Oh, I'm sorry I made light of you not having two feet. Holy clam bubbles! Locket saved! I say! Captain Threefwood! My beloved has sent me a sign! I must prepare myself for our reunion! Mizzens! I haven't smelled this rotten since languishing in my own filth while doing my time in the hold of Captain Liverbottom's traitor ship! What's that? Deodorant, Captain! Bought from the apothecary in Woodtick, I believe. Winslow, the locket isn't a sign for Anemone. She loved your poem, but I sent that locket up here. I can't touch it, but it's the thing that's going to reunite my ghost with my body. Oh, 
Most important, then. Most? Well, I'll hang it here as if it were our map. Remember our map, sir? How could I forget? Let this locket lead you back to your body, the way our map has led us to adventure! The Voodoo Lady's locket transfers spirits to bodies based on which way that little arrow button is pointing. I can't press it, though. But I bet Winslow wouldn't mind helping. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. Nothing happened. I should have possessed the Voodoo Lady. I guess no one's home on the other end. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. I'll just cover up the voodoo lady. Voila! Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. Remember my body being this cold. Hey! Ah! Great jumping gibbets! It's alive! It ain't alive! It's some kind of voodoo zombie! Quick, chop its head off! What? Ooh, wait a second. Don't worry, Your Honor. A good womp in the choppers ought to take care of this one. I'm sure we can talk this out. Right, sir. I think I just had the spirit knocked out of me. Ah, uh, yes, that would explain the girlish scream, sir. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Back for another round, zombie boy. I surrender. You do? Terrific! Off to jail with ya! You there! I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. The ladies come calling. I'll tell them that's where you went. Oh. Great. I'm in jail. Again. Ew. Gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. Hey, somebody stashed something behind this loose brick. It's a diary. Dear diary, well, I am in jail. Apparently I misunderstood when the mer person I met asked if I needed a lift. I assumed that meant I could ride him all the way into town. Anyway, I'm hiding you for now in case they search me. I don't want anyone knowing my personal inner thoughts. Hmm, what else is in here? Dear diary, I think that any moment now the manatees will start kissing. I hope I can slip out just as he slips the tongue. Ew. I think I've read enough. Is that some kind of poster in there? I can't quite see it from here. Ew. Gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. Uh-oh. My body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Uh-oh. Hey! What happened? I don't know, sir. The locket sparked a couple of times, and before I could say sexy fish, you were back here. Sexy fish? It's an expression, sir. Something I picked up while on my tour of the exotic Limbo Islands. So what you're saying is the effects of the locket are temporary? That does appear to be the case, sir. Well, that's just great.
How am I about to get back here? We came to check on you and found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? Seriously, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I said I don't want to talk about it. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Hmm, perhaps you waited around until the mating ritual, made your way to the tongue, and escaped when the manatee went in for the kiss. Hey, who told you that? That's private information. And once free from the manatee, you... befriended a person who you ended up riding all the way to the shores of Flotsam. That's impossible! No one knows about that! Look at me! I'm Bug Eye! I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around! Are you mocking me, boy? Arr! Does it look like I'm mocking you? I'm Big Bad Bug Eye. I keep a girly diary. I wish I had hair so I could put it up in curls. Let's just see how that face looks with my fist shoved in it. Oof! All right, that's enough. I think you need some time to calm down, lad. It's off to the drunk tank for you. And you, don't slime up the place while I'm gone. I'll just leave him there until he cools off. 